Eric Swalwell. First act in foreign policy, we're breaking up with Russia and making up with NATO. Mike Gravel. It's time to make some waves for change. John Hickenlooper. But how come we're not asking, we're not asking more often the women, would you be willing to put a man on the ticket? Jay Inslee. I am a, a politician of conviction, <laughs> and I think Harry Potter should be eliminated. In <laughs> Kirsten Gillibrand. The first thing that I'm going to do when I'm president is I'm going to Clorox the Oval Office. Seth Moulton. I'm in this to win. That's why I'm here. Bill de Blasio. How do you feel about Ska? I love Ska. Tim Ryan. I'm a Dave Matthews guy. Okay. You yeah, know, of course Dave. you are. Beto O'Rourke. Vamos a tratar cada persona con el respeto y dignidad que merecen como humanos. Joe Sestak. Unfortunately, we cannot find any footage of Joe Sestak. Stephen Bullock. I'm the only one uh, that actually won in a Trump state. The only one of the field of 37 that actually won a Trump state. I'm literally the only field in the state that won in a state where Donald Trump won. Kamala Harris. You know, he reminds me of that, that guy in The Wizard of Oz, you know, when you pull back the curtain, it's a really small dude. Julian Castro. 20 seconds after I start speaking to try and explain to him what I'm about, the lights go off in the whole building. i like, I hope this is not a metaphor for the rest of my campaign, <laughs> that it's never gonna get started. The lights go out. Marion Williamson. Her goal is to make New Zealand the place where it's the best place in the world for a child to grow up. And I will tell her girlfriend you are so on. Cory Booker. Why did Tigger and Eeyore have their heads in the toilet? They were looking for poo. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> Andrew Yang. I'm going to be the first president to use PowerPoint in the State of the Union. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Michael Bennett. Tell us about the last time you were embarrassed. I'm sure it related to my children mocking me, which is the cause of most of my embarrassment. Deval Patrick. Hi, everyone. Tom Stein. I don't want to get in the middle, I just want to say hi, Bernie. Yeah, good. Let's treat this. Okay. Pete Buttigieg. <laughs> Amy Klobuchar. Hey, Donald Trump, the science is on my side, and I'd like to see how your hair would fare in a blizzard. I'd like to see how your hair would fare in a blizzard. And I'd like to see how your hair would fare in a blizzard. And I'd like to see how your hair would fare in a blizzard. Michael Bloomberg. I'm surprised they show up because I would have thought after I did such a good job in beating them last week that they'd be a little bit afraid to do that. Elizabeth Warren. How many mamas and daddies today are getting knocked off the track and never get back on? Those babies get top-notch care. It means their mamas can finish their education. It means their mamas and their daddies can take on real jobs. That's an investment in our babies. That's an investment in their mamas and their daddies. Tulsi Gabbard. Aloha. Bernie Sanders. Take a look around and find someone you don't know. Maybe somebody doesn't look kind of like you. Are you willing to fight for that person who you don't even know as much as you're willing to fight for yourself? Look, I don't tolerate bullshit terribly well. I've been amazed at how many people respond to happy birthday. We forgot to include John Delaney. And so, we'll add him right here. Candidates should be rolling out their platforms, which I did in my 30-minute documentary. Check it out at johndelaney.com.